So welcome everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to the road to the CESDA Roadshow on climate change. Uh, Steph, I think I think we are live now. We're live and ready to go. Thank you. Welcome everyone. Great. Thanks. So I said, welcome everyone to the CESDA Roadshow on climate change. My name is Monique Willems from Trust IT, and together with uh, with my colleague Stephanie Parker, the main office of CESDA and uh, the service providers of CESA and the, the researchers that have joined us today, we're presenting to you the third edition of the uh, CESA Roadshow, uh, this time on the global challenge of climate change. Um, just a few practical things for the, for the webinar today. Um, you have entered in listen-only mode, but you can, of course, we're very happy to receive your questions, your comments, uh, your thoughts in the, in the chat. Uh, you can find that at the lower bottom of the, of the Zoom interface. I'm sure you, you, you found it already. Um, uh, after the, the webinar, um, uh, we will make the slides and the presentations available for you. So if you missed some things, if you want to rewatch something, uh, they will be available through CESA.eu. Oh, and that went too quick. Okay, so the agenda for today is uh, first the introduction. So uh, this is uh, what you're listening at now. So the, from CESDA and Trust IT. Uh, then the CESDA data catalog for climate change, an overview of data sets um, from the Finnish and English data sets for discovery. So that's presented to us by Tuomas Altera, Alatera, sorry, uh, from the Finnish uh, service provider of CESDA. Then we uh, continue with the CESDA Data Management Expert Guide on Archive and Publish, presented to us by Patricia Miranda from APIS Archive. And then CESDA uses story on the importance of publishing data and organizing metadata. Uh, it's a user story brought to us by Luis Jonquera from the University of Lisboa. And then we will follow up with the CESDA user story on the importance and the benefits of reuse of data in cross-disciplinary research. Uh, with us uh, Vasco Ramos for this uh, user story, also from the University of Lisboa. Uh, and then we have the CESA user story by Harry Mellon from the Tampere University. Then uh, we dive into a, a discussion uh, with all the panelists, with all the speakers, uh, but also we want to hear if you have any questions for the panelists, which you are welcome to provide in the chat. The CESDA Roadshow series um, is aimed to raise awareness and to help you uh, with uh, working with both the CESDA Data Catalog and the CESDA Data Management Expert Guide for your research. So this can be social scientific research, but it can also be cross-disciplinary or research from other uh, domains because both the CESDA Data Catalog and the DMAC are relevant for other disciplines as well. Uh, what we wanted to do is to highlight the treasures and all the added values that it has for your own research. We've done this uh, to illustrate this according to uh, five global challenges, because the CESDA data catalog and the CESDA uh, data management expert guide can both help you in research tackling uh, the global challenges. We've teamed up with, uh, with the CESDA service providers uh, for this uh, exercise. You can see them all here. Um, but we also made synergies with external uh, stakeholders, such as Eurodoc, the Hummingbird Project, Inaru, MyCreate, and the Shock Project. Um, so as I said before, uh, we've done uh, some uh, promotional uh, exercises around the CESDA data catalog to give you an overview of what you can, all the treasures you can find in the, in the data catalog. Now, this is one, this is just pulling out one of them. Uh, we've done a podcast with, uh, with uh, Georg Lutz from uh, FORCE, one of the uh, CESDA service providers as well. Uh, I think it's very interesting to listen to. Um, he says that FORCE has made available through the data, says that data catalog will help policymakers to understand what drives people in their political choices and also have general insights in human behavior. So it's just to illustrate what you can find there. Then also to highlight the data management expert guide, we did a user story with Anna Slavic, but today you'll listen to more, um, to more user stories. We also wanted to give a little, uh, to see a little bit who we are uh, engaging with today uh, in this uh, in this webinar. So if you, we've pulled out these data from your registration. Uh, so most of you are from education, but also quite a few of you are from consulting government uh, um, industries. Um, 
most of you have not yet used uh, the CESA data catalog uh, and the same is true for the CESA data management expert guide so we are really happy to uh, to be able to talk to you about these two uh, tools for your research today um, then got three minutes we would love to have your uh, your input so we would really like to ask uh, everyone to um, to take uh, part in this survey uh, to understand how the data catalog can be improved for your use. Um, what is nice to know if you do uh, provide us with input here is that uh, to enter the raffle for a free audible audio uh, book uh, type a random four digit number in the space provided and the winner will be then announced in the chat at the end of the webinar. So uh, help us out here and, uh, and you'll, you'll get something very nice in return.